the issue with Art's play because he's always in your face. Here it is again. It's so naughty. Like it's so naughty. Uh, yeah, and, and, and it is gonna drive Nico up the wall. Like he's laughing still here. With it, damage done. Threw on the monster, but they still pushed up. And this player's running with their knives out. They have no idea. And Mages with three deeks shuts the round down. Shush can do little but try running, oh! and Major smacks him upside the head too. Sasha. Oh, I think they double. Yeah, no. Two, two, oh, two, yeah. one more. Yeah, one more crossing. He's dead. Nice. Maybe he crashes across. Going He's gonna Dead, dead. Finally, I hit it. You can hear it. Big Jewel. Alexi not ready, but Hunter does go down first, oh! and it's all safe. Three frags, more and more impact from this Orpa. On the pistol. Monacy, can you find a 1v2? Dyson with trouble here. Safe's been hitting every shot. He's given him opportunities, but he's nimble. The young gun overrun, running out of bullets. The pass! Oh! He nearly had it! One, One bullet. bullet! And he doesn't get around the corner. Another pistol goes Furious way. Nico, he's heard this. Dancing around the smokes has to be careful here. Art, you're actually all around him, and oh! now they go in the smoke. Art, up to the regular hijinks, gets traded. But he's going to be loving how that one unfolded. Art is mental. <laughs> God, he just... He had a deagle, three bullets from Yuri, and Alexi, no more. Dizzing through, Hunter's gone as well. What has Art started? This is un... Unbelievable. Monacy's got to try and recover for G2. They just have to get him dealt with. Oof, he hits it. Monacy, you mean it. Glock chasing 20 HP, one bullet to the side of the buttock. K Serato was rotated through. Three out of Monacy, but this is a 1v2 K Serato can handle. Will he expect him pushed up so close on the cross? Monacy does it again for G2. Quad kill. Jewel. Alexi taking heavy damage. 10 HP on him. Yuri knows where to put his cross there as Jax falls as well. Fury are looking to have done it here. A one versus two. Initially, one versus three. Monacy quick to find the first of the three required. Now, last time we saw, in a position like this, Fury gave him a lot of respect and a lot of space. He's one to be feared. Silent descent out of Keiserato will remove his options of a retreat. Now he has the bomb. Keiserato's still going to linger and make sure he has that B-rotate. Enables Art to just play for the A-site passive. No smoke for Monacy. And with the amount of time he has... See, he's going to get paranoid about the late flank out of Keiserato, but he will need time to start faking it out. Does Art just run him down if he does to touch the bomb? He wait for Keiserato and plays the numbers. We'll find out now. Monacy across. Molly and plan. Art won't be able to contest immediately. Smoke makes him scared. Distracts as Keiserato activates as well. Monacy sets his sights on the duel with Art here, expecting a walk through. It's Art for a reason. Monacy reads him. And a clutch to keep G2 alive on Vertigo becomes a one-on-one. -on -one. Brain whirs into action. He's got a good idea. Okay, Serato starting to clear. Time on your side here, Monacy. You've done a lot of the heavy lifting, a lot of the hard draft. He heard him. He knows where he is. Can he remember where he planned to case Serato versus Monacy? And he clutches up. G2 play on. Would spawn and make their way into the site. It is just drop. The only defender of this B bomb site here with 19 seconds left. He can get this done. Drop to disrupt, flashed off, hard clears for G2, and it's Jax, his first victim. 10 seconds, Nico has to find it, drop! He could be doing it all for Furia, all alone oh. on the side, takes down Monacy, and that's a drop shutdown! Pulls it out of absolutely nowhere! It was only him! Lots of utility, Monacy looking to find a safe plus spot to drop and ply his trade on the scout. Jax goes looking for answers, and does tag up another, so this scout can do so much. More oh! than that from Alexi. Two out of the five, seven. 15 seconds, they're really heading back to A. This is going to be close. I don't know if there was enough time for this. This is going to be very, uh, very close here from drop. I, I don't think he has no. enough time. No, you're right, Chad. He's a second shy. Oh, 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 oh. Does he get it in? Does he get it in? Pops oh, down, rounds on. Wow. That could not have got any closer, but we play on. They do manage to get the bomb down. Now advantage changing hands. Safe's coming for Jax. An easy headshot and G2 have fumbled. Against G2 in multiple facets of a round like this, oh, I cannot believe Lord. the drop. They head all five quite quickly to jive over towards B and up long they run. Nico's already spotted them and they're coming in. Okay, let's see how they can handle business. Alexi already oh. missing shots. Nico the opposite. Two clicks, two heads and more to come. They're on his ramp and he is already hitting everything. Hunter's stolen one away from him, but Art... Got nothing to celebrate. Bomb is lost. Round two. And Jax makes it so. 
Oh, that's a scary sign, Chad. It seems Nico is quite hard to disrespect the double Molotov start, but they are out late. with the smoke out late. Monacy Flash has a bit of a one way on the side. Oh! And oh, one bullet, two kills. And the Panther declawed at the hands of Monacy. Uh, Ping Pongs, he's coming back on over. They've got a good read as the rear aggress down long. Jax needs at least one if they push into his domain. This is what he's there for. But it's not going to be the flashbang this time, so it's just a duel. Mechanics v mechanics of drop versus jacks. 30 seconds, this fight, this frag. Oh, the quick switch, and he goes down. That could mark the start of the end for G2. Can he really bring them back into contention here? Another out of Nico, mad now. Double kill from him in a must win. Safe is it's in the plant. temple. An open plant could be tested oh, and spotted no. out. Okay, Serato and safe, making it interesting. Hunter as well puts himself in the vice. It's only Nico. Or oh, this is Furia. And Safe has fallen. A great one tap out of Nico. What can you do? He's known and low. He still considers him to be towards that CT side. This is impossible clear for Nico here. G2's hopes and dreams. This one's done. Yeah, he's got his back to him. And this will be Furia securing it. What a play from Keserato. They've done it. Simultaneously knock out G2 and secure a spot at the palace. The top eight of the major, and all oh, that release, that sweet release of tension, a full three map affair. We're talking nearly every round across the three maps, every individual having their moment. And the new edition, Monacy will not see the major playoffs. That luxury denies. We'll go from strength to strength with two, but Masood and Apex come back with their own. And now they can spill onto the site. They know one player is in short. What they don't realize is that Shush is also pushing around from the monster side. Now they've seen it. Now they know roughly where all three players remain. Tess is spotted heaven. One short, one monster. Vitality, what do you do with this information? Majus has had a great game so far with the pistols, and he goes in again, shutting it down with the clock. And a much needed round for Vitality. 17 and 9 for Majus. Just forcing Vitality away, keeping them at arm's reach. Where the superior firepower should come to the forefront, but Masuda getting two kills has put them in such a good position now. They flash Kading out of position. He's stuck on the wrong side of bank, and Refresh can't move up from the dumpster. It should be a plan. It could be so much sweeter. And Mazuda going from strength to strength. He's picked up three, and he single-handedly forced the Danes off the site. Vitality will have two map points. What a hero. What an absolute... The individuals gave it everything. We could see... Oh, it is so rough. Especially for Apex. We know how emotional he can be. But they gave it everything, Vince. They gave it everything. They should be happy. However, for Heroic, they're going to make it to the playoffs. They, they, they've survived the test of the veterans of Vitality. Because there's a ton of history against them in this Imperial lineup. Bolts up close, oh. two taps into the Copenhagen Flames. And we have Hooksy and Nikodaz still trying to get this split underway. Patience is a virtue. And with the 2v4 turned back to the even keel, they try to tuck, they try to run, Chase they try his to ass sprint, down. and Fallen is going to go all the way around. Hooksy, he has to stop, he has to fight, and he gets one kill already, a Ooh. second, with what feels like that last shot. Fight's trying to be gained. There are attempts here. Sandbag's position being held by Fur. He's going to creep around. Didn't oh, see Jesus. It. Didn't the 4 see 3. It. And now Nikodos is going to walk up. Short oh. player dies to an instant. And then Fur will at least bring it back. But Roy is still nearby. And Fur, as he comes around that side of the smoke, will go down. Man advantage still. With 30 seconds, no one goes short. And now Vinny, he just wants to save. All he wants to do is hang on. But Nikodos is breathing down his neck. And somehow Vinny. Oh my god, he's gonna get away with that off, oh but god. will it even matter? Right with the smoke in on sight. Hooksy doesn't find his mark. We've oh. got three players at the top of the ramp. 20 seconds, and FNX gets into the site. How about a wall bang? It connects with the nade. Down goes the first plant. Bolts picks it up. He's trying to hang on, and sure enough, he will. It's a post plant position, and a 3v3 that could give Copenhagen Flames two match points, two chances to do what they have not been able to close. Hooksy on top, 
And suddenly silence falls across the site. The smoke goes in. Fur goes down. Yabby's in with the kill. 40 health for him. Vinny through smoke. And now all of a sudden, Bones oh. comes back as Vinny goes big. It's a 14th for Imperial. They tie. Oh, they got him. And he sees the shadow. He sees the back. Oh, he fires off. And now everybody knows what's up. 30 seconds left for an impeccable clutch. Siphon's down on top. But there it is. Finally, the fifth time's the charm. The Copenhagen Flames, they lift the curse. They shed their demons and burn brighter than ever before. Playoffs in Antwerp. Yeah, we're going to see the Flames in front of a crowd, and they do it after failure in Stockholm, which was already miraculous for how far they went. To do it an even harder legend stage now here in Antwerp, they earn their way through and have sealed the fate of Imperial, the final stop for them.